Hi everyone, I am Pankaj Kumar and you are watching Mechanical Engineering Knowledge Junction. Today we are going to see another problem related to the analysis of uh, cantilever beam in ANSYS Mechanical APDL. So before uh, starting this tutorial, I want to say that if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe button and press the bell icon to get all the updates from my channel. And if you have any suggestions, comments or query or doubt related to this tutorial, you may mention in the comment section i will reply as quickly as possible so let's start our problem so you can clearly see that a point is fixed and there is a anti-clockwise moment acting at point b of 2 kN meter and at point c there is a downward force of 3 kN and at point d there is a clockwise moment of 3 kN and at point e there is a 2 newton 2 kN force acting in downward direction the we have to find a stress and deflection and also draw sft and bmd diagram and the value of uh, cross section of beam is 200 by 400 and the young's modulus is 2 into 10 is to 5 newton per mm square and poison's ratio is 0 0.27 now first of all open ansys mechanical apdl click on preferences click on structural click ok now click on preprocessor click on element type click on add edit delete click on add click on beam select one 2 node 188 at save function now click ok now close this minimize this go to material property click on material model click on structural click on linear click on elastic click on isotropic and give the value of your modulus as 2e5 and poison's ratio 0 0.27 and now click ok close this minimize this go to section click on beam click on common section and select subtype as rectangle and offset to centroid and now give the value of b as 200 and uh, hh 400 and now click preview to preview the cross section so this is the cross section now click ok and then now and now right click the mouse button and uh, replot it to hide the section now minimize section go to modeling click on create click on key point click on inactive cs now click apply to get the origin now click here and type 2000 mm and then click apply and now you can clearly see that second point is generated now click here and type 4000 mm and click apply so third point is generated now click here and type 6000 mm and then click apply and now type here 8000 mm and now click ok so we have created all the required key point now we have to join this key point with the help of line so minimize key point now go to line click on lines click on a straight line click here and here click here and here click here and here click here and here we have joined all the line now click ok now minimize modeling go to missing click on control size click on manual size click on global click on size now give the number of divisions that is the number of element divisions in which you want to divide the element between the two key points so i'm going to divide it in between 20 divisions now click ok now minimize size control go to mesh click on lines tick the box and carefully select the all lines now click ok thus our meshing is done now minimize meshing go to plot click on plot lines then you can clearly see that from this point to this point there is 20 divisions and now first key point second key point third key point fourth key point and fifth key point are clearly visible now we have to apply loads first of all we have to fix this point that is key point one so click on loads click on apply loads click on apply click on structural click on displacement click on key point and the select this key point and click apply select this point and click apply and click here and the select all degree of freedom since this is fixed now click ok now we have fixed this point now minimize this now we have to apply at this point a um, clockwise moment of 2 kN meter ok so go to force click on key point and select this sorry cancel it and again click on key point and then select this carefully and now click apply and go here and select mz value 
and now give the value of um, mm, clockwise anti clockwise moment and anti clockwise moment is always taken in positive so 2 e 6 is the value of moment at point key point second now click apply and now again select this point and click apply and now give the value of moment at this point and the value of moment at this point is and since the, it, there is clockwise moment so we have to take a negative sign and then give the value is 3 e 6 now click apply now select this key point and then click apply and now go here and select the value fy and now give the value of force since the force is occurring in downward direction and the value is 3000 newton so negative sign is taken for downward and the value is 3000 now click apply now select again this node and click apply and the value is here 2000 so fy is selected here and the value is given as minus 2000 now click ok thus we have applied all the moment and force according to the given condition so minimize all this go to solution click on solve click on current ls Click on, click on OK. So our solution is done. Now close this, close this, and minimize solution. Go to general post procedure. Since we have to create uh, or draw SFD and BFD, for that we have to click on element table. Then we have to click on define table. Now click on add. Go in this column and select the last option and type here 3 and then click apply. Again go in this column and select this and type here. 6 and click apply again go in this column select last option and type here 16 then click apply again go in this column and select last option and type here 19 and then click ok thus we have selected all the labels 3 6 16 19 and the combination of 3 and 16 will give the bmd diagram and the combination of 6 and 19 will give the sfd diagram now close this minimize this element table go to plot result click on deform and select deform plus and deform and click ok so this is the deformation of beam under the given moment and loading condition and if you want to see the animation of this deformation in isometric view then you will have to go to plot control click on style click on shape and size and on it and click ok now go here and click on isometric view now again go to plot control click on animate click on deform shape and select deform plus and deform and click ok so you can clearly see that the deformation is going on and this is the animation of deform and an an animation for deformation of the beam under the given loading condition now close this now we have to find the displacement vector sum so click on the counter plot click on node solution click on duf solution click on displacement vector sum now click ok so this is the distribution of displacement or uh, you can consider displacement of the be uh, cantilever beam under the loading condition so minimum displacement is at this point and the maximum displacement is at this point and the value of minimum displacement is here 0 and the maximum displacement is here 9.3948 now if you want to see the stress then again click on nodal solution again click on stress bring down the arrow and select the bone minus stress now click ok so this is the distribution of stress so maximum stress is acting at this point and minimum acting at this point and the value of minimum is this and the value of maximum is this now if you want to see the vector plot so again click on vector plot click on predefined and now click ok so you can clearly see that this is the vector plot diagram for front view click on front view so this is the clearly see you can clearly see that the value is increasing slowly and the maximum is here and the minimum is at this point so minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 9.39 now if you want to see the <coughs> sfd and bme diagram now again click on plot result again click on counter plot and then you click on line element result now select smis 3 in first box and smis 16 in second box and now click ok so this is the bmd diagram for the given problem and now if you want to see the sft diagram then again click on line element result go in first box and second second option and go in last box and second select last option and click ok so this is the sft diagram for the given problem 
Now if you want to see the exact value of displacement, stress or reaction or any load then you will have to go in to list result then click on uh, reaction solution then select all item and now click ok. So this is the reaction at node 1 and the value of force at in x, y and z direction and the moment in x, y, z direction as given here. Now close this and if you want to see the nodal load now click on nodal load select all item click ok. So this is the node number and the corresponding force in xyz and the moment in xyz are all calculated here. Now close this and if you want to see the displacement then you will have to click on node solution, click on df solution, click on displacement vector sum, click ok. So this is the node number and the corresponding displacement in xyz and the maximum displacement are all calculated here. Now close this. Similarly you can see the various result of various parameters under the general post procedure. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe my channel and thank you. Bye bye.